And so basically, new year, new nose. Hey booze. Before you guys jump to the comment section and start typing about how I'm never happy with my face, please sit down. I've made it a point on this channel to always keep you guys posted on the things that I get done. I know it sounds crazy if you look at a huge list of all the things I've discussed on this channel that I've done to my face, but at the end of the day, I'm one of the very few people who like to keep you posted on the changes that I make to my face because majority of Hollywood keeps it a secret and everyone thinks it's just a natural thing that happens to their face, when in reality, it's a procedure. So it's definitely not talked about enough, people who get get a nose job and love it, but then end up wanting to get another one because it either changes shape, you didn't follow the instructions with recovery and it's just taken a different form, or you just wanna refine it just a little bit more. My previous nose job, which was my second one, was very documented on this channel and you guys know I was over the moon with it, loved it, and I still love it to this day. And I'll get into later in this video why I got a third nose job. The first nose job was Botox and filler and that's like when Nikki and I made the RU music video when it was like really swoopy and pretty big. I was just like adding filler onto what I already had when in reality I like that shape but I just wanted it smaller and that's what led to my surgical nose job in 2019 which now brings me to my third nose job in 2022, the, the very end of 2022. And so basically new year, new nose. So third time's the charm, guys, I got another nose job. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the things I have listed on this notes app, but also I'm gonna be inserting footage of the actual procedure. I went to Dr. Rahi in Los Angeles. The week that I moved into my apartment, this is when the whole nose procedure took place. And actually I filmed like a haul video that week and my face was just so swollen. And I was like, I just can't post this. So I haven't really been posting as much as I usually would like on Instagram or TikTok because I just like was really swollen for a little bit, but this is like all the way down and I really, really love the results. Whether if you guys see a difference or not, I definitely see the difference that I wanted. And that is with the tip of my nose. When I first got my nose done, like surgically, the second nose job, um, I loved, loved, loved like the way that my nose looked when I took the cast off, which is looks like this. But over time, I did not follow the instructions of taping my nose. And throughout like the whole first and second year, it kind of just got swollen and more and more swollen. And then when the swelling finally went down and I could see the results, it didn't look like when I got my cast off. He did an amazing job on my nose and it looked really natural and exactly what I wanted. But I noticed because I didn't take like the rib cartilage, like the bone to like lengthen my nose and give it a tip, we just kind of sutured like I don't even know the scientific terms. We sutured like the muscles in the tip of my nose. I don't even know if it was muscles, but to make a like refined tip. But over time, with because I smile a lot, like the muscle that connects like your smile on your nose can droop your nose. I smile a lot. So my surgical doctor gave me like the exact results I wanted, but over time, my nose, like it just started drooping. And that's not the doctor's fault. It was like starting to droop like this year. And and I looked up ways to avoid that. I even tried to like do Botox in the tip and that still didn't help. And I was like, I really, really do not want to go under the knife again because it takes a whole year for like swelling in a nose to go down, maybe even two years. And I remember when I went through that whole series of like plastic surgery, it took like a whole year for my face to go down. I just didn't want to go down that path. So I was like, how do I just get my tip done? Like and not surgery. Well, it's a more invasive procedure than injections, but it's not exactly surgery. So I went to Dr. Rahi's office in Beverly Hills. And by the way, Dr. Rahi is like one of my good friends. I love her so much, shouting her out right here. I wanted like my nose to be more up and like defined in the tip. I started opening up to my friends last February that I was looking into a third nose job, but like I didn't know how I felt about that because I really loved the nose that the surgery gave me. I just didn't like what was happening over time with the tip. And so I did a lot of research on threads in a nose. Some people have certain opinions about threads and noses, others have different opinions. I did my own personal research myself before going in for this procedure, so I knew this is exactly what I wanted. And I was awake the entire time and I barely took any numbing. Dr. Rahi suggested numbing, but I just have like this weird fear of numbing and you guys know this. It's like a thing I do, I just like don't get numbing. And I got footage, I documented footage of this entire thing and I'm inserting that footage in this video. It's pretty graphic, I just wanna put in like a trigger warning right here. I show the entire procedure in this video. So if you guys are interested in seeing how Dr. Rahi brought my nose from this to this, 
in literally an hour than keep watching. I literally walked in at 11 with one nose and walked out with another and the swelling started like overnight. Like it wasn't instant swelling. So I was like staring at my nose like the entire first day that I got these threads done and I was just so over the moon. I did get a little scared during like the recovery process because the doctor, he definitely prepared me for some swelling. And that also brings me to what helped the swelling. I'm gonna mention that in this video as well. The swelling was really, really crazy. And ironically, my Freshwear products arrived in the mail the same week that I got this done when I was in LA. And Freshwear was going to sponsor one of my vlogs and I waited to feature them in my video because I was using them proactively when my face was swollen. They come in this like light blue, really, really pretty box. It's like really cute to decorate your room with this. But these are the globes, they're cold. They just came out of the fridge, but I put them back in the box to show you. But well, I keep them in the fridge, it comes with two. And these are ice globe massagers and they really, really help with puffiness. Whenever I get any sort of procedure on my face, even if it's like Botox or just anything that's not even the nose, just anything else, any type of trauma to my face causes like puffiness. And you guys know in the past I've had a puffy face. So I really, really didn't want that to happen. So literally three times a day, I would use these on my jaw, on my cheeks, I would even hold these next to my nose. Now they're a really, really big part of my skincare because I really have noticed a difference in my overall face shape. Even though my face swelling from my procedure went down, I still see like a dramatic difference in like my jawline and face structure. So I'm always gonna be using these morning and night and sometimes during the day because it just feels so good. So whenever I do my skincare routine now, I always end it with these ice globes, but I'm gonna show you guys how I use them to help with the benefits. So if you guys aren't aware, ice globes utilize cryotherapy and facial massage to do many things like stimulate blood circulation, brighten skin, reduce puffiness, which is what I use these for when I was recovering. Ice globes can also minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, sculpt the jawline, which I love, and tighten and firm the skin. The ice globes are a favorite amongst those who have sinus pain, migraines, headaches, and for me, in my case, I have really, really bad TMJ. I've opened up about this on my channel before, but I have a very bad clicking jaw from grinding my teeth in my sleep. So I've been using these on my masseters and I've noticed that the swelling and puffiness in my masseters is reduced a lot with these ice globes. The cold base is definitely a very natural treatment alternative. I love closing my eyes and rolling the globes softly around my eyes, temple, and forehead to release any tension. I'm usually stressed out, so these definitely help my everyday be a little more relaxing. These globes drastically reduce the puffiness in my face and the swelling of my nose, and as you can see, I like to use these on my nose. And the ice globes work by reducing blood flow to a particular area, which can significantly reduce inflammation and swelling that causes pain. These beauty tools are made with freeze-proof glass and filled with medical grade liquid. I actually have a link down below if you guys are interested in getting your own. These come with lifetime warranty and you can get a 50% off discount on Fraser Ice Globes down below. The deal won't last for long, so definitely make sure to check out the special link in the description box and the pinned comment. So now I'm gonna get into the footage of this procedure and please do not judge i just decide to share this stuff with you guys because i've listed the reasons but yeah let's get into the footage ready does it hurt focus on breathing i know sorry Got to squeeze the balls. You good? Hold this for me. You okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me know if it's like too much. It's okay. Two more on the bridge, okay? You okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want a break? Okay. You're strong. Positive thoughts, okay? The pressure right here for me. 
You okay? Yeah. Just focus on breathing. Okay. Are you more pressure there? You okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm like stressed out for you. <laughs> tweezers from I don't know. You can, um, I'll tell you which one. It's the first one, I think. First one. Yeah, feel it. Is that tweezer? Looks really good at least, right? Um, I think she just has got me the scissors and my tweezers. Can I hold pressure? You okay? Mm -hmm. We're almost done. It hurts? Mm mm. We're fine. Okay. Don't feel bad. I asked for this. Mm -hmm. You did ask for it without <laughs> numbing, which is shocking to me because I'm like, you need numbing. Um, let's just hold some pressure. Just grab some ice for me. Um, maybe chew and wrap them in paper towels. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys what threads are because I'm not qualified to tell you what they are. You definitely can look it up on your own terms on Google. Over time, the more you get it done, the more permanent the results will be. The nose actually lasts two to three years, she said, but one touch up I think is required. So when I'm head on, you can see more of like my nostrils because the tip's more lifted. And when I turn to the side, it goes more with my chin, like the... The angle it's like more lifted i know this sounds crazy but when you are in front of the camera for your living and see yourself every day you see like these little details and i know a lot of comments are going to be just like my tiktok i posted i literally posted a tiktok this week showing like my face and then showing a teaser of the procedure and everyone's like when is she going to learn to love herself this girl really doesn't like herself and I'm just letting you know, when you're in the entertainment industry, like, it's very, very easy to just want to be really picky with yourself. There's a really problematic area with that, and I can touch base on that in another video. But also, if your profession is literally your face, like, and there's, like, little things you want to, like, nip and tuck, like, I... I don't see an issue in that. I have always been really, really picky about my nose. My nose is something I've always been fixed on since I was, like... 12. I'm glad I can show you guys another route to get a nose job procedure. I know I'm definitely in a good place mentally to make decisions like this, but I do want to put this out there that if you are looking for instant gratification and temporary satisfaction through little procedures like this, I do recommend speaking with a professional and rationalizing your thoughts and decisions before evaluating this as a safe and reasonable decision. I really do want you guys to just remember at the end of the day, I'm a human just like you and we all have our insecurities. And never feel embarrassed about wanting to change something or 
embracing change aesthetically on your appearance and I want to be that reminder that beauty is attainable but at the end of the day don't compare yourself to people on social media when you get something done make sure it's because like you really really want to get it done okay guys so that's it for this video there's gonna be so many more vlogs coming I'm actually in the middle of like completely redoing my office in this house and I'm also redoing the guest room and then I go to LA redoing the apartment and you guys are gonna come with me for that so if you guys are interested in seeing those things definitely make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for 2023 fancy vlogs. And thank you so much to my supporters who are watching this video with grace and not judging me and simply happy for me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog.